hello thank you so much for joining me today and what we are doing in this video is simply the continuation of where we ended in answering the grade 12 examination final past paper for the year 2020 so if you have not yet subscribed to our channel you can do so so that you are able to receive notifications as soon as our latest videos are uploaded so going to question five the question is asking us to simplify the given expression which is this expression here how can we factorize sorry how can we simplify okay so when you look at this expression clearly uh, you can see that the numerator part has got something which can be can be factorized and that will be our first step so here is what you need to do because there is 2 here and there is 2 in 18 so 2 is a common factor you can take it out so we are going to have 2 we remain with 1 minus so 2 will be out then we remain with 1 inside and 9 p squared this is what we are going to have for the numerator and we are going to maintain the denominator part we're going to maintain so we have 3p plus 1 okay again when we look at what we have in the brackets uh, this is a difference of two squares and because of that here is what we are going to do we're going to maintain the two outside then the expression inside is going to be written into this form 1 squared minus 3 squared p squared close bracket divided by 3p plus 1 okay that is how we can express the numerator part again because of what we have written this can also be written into this form when we try to expand we are going to have two outside then this part is going to give us one minus three p and one plus three p that is the implication when we say it's a difference of two squares divided by three p plus one and we can now see that we have something similar when we consider the numerator as well as the denominator part so this part is going to divide into that part and here one is what we are going to get when we divide so uh, this can now be simplified further where we can now take away the brackets and we remain with 2 1 minus 3p Mm, divided by one it will still be the same so that will be our solution for the first part quickly we go to part b part b says the first three terms of the geometric progression are m minus 2 m plus 1 and m plus 7 find the value of m how can we find the value of m so because this is a geometric progression excuse me we can use the concept of finding the common ratio so common ratio is equal to second term divided by first term which is also equal to third term divided by second term so we are going to use this formula which we have just created from the common ratio because we have our first term our second term and our third term we can simply substitute and then work out our solution for the value of m so that is what i'm going to do for term two i'm going to substitute this so we have m plus one divided by term one is this m minus 2 which will be equal to term 3 it is m plus 7 divided by term 2 
to this m plus 1. So this is a fraction and this is a fraction. So we can do the cross multiplication. Okay. And meaning we are going to have m plus m multiplying m plus 1 equal to m minus 2 multiplying m plus 7. When we do the expansion, this will give us m squared plus m plus m plus 1, which will be equal to this and that gives us m squared, this and that gives us positive 7m, this and that minus 2m, this and that negative 14. Okay. So from what we have, we can already see that and when we take this m squared on the other side, it is going to subtract this, giving us a zero. So in short, this and that will go. We remain with 2m plus 1 is equal to this and that gives us what? Uh, 5m minus 14. We do the correction of like terms. This will come to 2m minus 5m is equal to negative 14 minus 1. Then this is, when we subtract, sorry, we are going to have negative 3m equal to negative 15. Because we are looking for the value of m, we can simply divide and our m will be equal to 3 into negative 3 into negative 15 get positive 5 so that is for the first part of question B finding the value of M and part 2 is asking us to find the common ratio so common ratio as indicated area is simply the first sorry the second term divided by first term. So we know what our second term is. Uh, our second term is m plus 1 over our first term is m minus 2. And we have just gotten the value of m so we are going to substitute. So this will come to 5 plus 1 over 5 minus 2 which will simplify to 6 over 6 over what? 6 over 3, which will simply come to 2. Okay, so that is for that second part of B. We can quickly go to the third part. Third part is asking us to find the sum of the first six terms. So, first six terms, sum is equal to A. R n minus 1, that is the formula we can use, R minus 1, we use this formula when R is greater than 1. So we can now simply substitute, sum of the 6 will be equal to, equal to, okay, so this will come to our value of A, we can substitute our value of a the first term is m minus 2 so our m is equal to 5 so 5 minus 2 it will come to 3 so 3 is our first term so we are going to substitute 3 open bracket the value of r is 2 power 6 mm -hmm. minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 which will come to come to 3 open bracket 6 power okay so when we when we substitute we, we, we are going to have what we has been indicated here and then when we check 6 sorry 2 power 6 we are going to get 64 minus 1 to give us 63 multiplied by 3 we are going to get 189 which is being divided by 1 so this will be the solution for the last part in question 5.